Morning guys, morning morning. Uncle Craig here on the Bond Knock. How you doing? How you doing? Well, it didn't rain last night. Woohoo! That is a good thing. Well, just mostly because I can maybe get a little bit more done today. Although I don't know how much more I want to do today, man. My back's killing me. I finished that second cement pour yesterday. It was brutal. I think I had to mix... I don't even know. Ten tubs of cement. It's brutal. I had the fan over there, which helped, but then the power cut. So I wound up having like the last two pours with no fan. I'm old, man. It's brutal. I'm getting cement in my eyeballs and stuff. But uh, yeah, at least now the hard part's out of the way. I'm not sure I'll have to do any more cement mixing. <laughs> but uh, now it's just going to be like knocking walls down and setting the form up around that building, around that front portion. So I can get the sand and the wire in there and have a concrete pour by a truck. Set up that whole foundation or the, the floor again. So that's pretty cool. And it's definitely overcast so it's a little bit cooler today it's still early crack of dawn as it were everybody going to work on the motorcycles work on the farm probably and uh, me my my finger of course you know I smashed my finger like I don't know how many times yesterday one time it was I swear to God I thought I broke the top portion of my finger off you know I still have this thing in my head that because of so much of the bone that was cut through that somehow my finger is gonna dislodge and come off or something but eh, I guess it's not gonna do that but the thing is it, it, you know the nerves were cut so I can't feel it kind of like having a just a whatever a rubber piece something on the end of your finger you don't know it so when I'm doing stuff it'll run into stuff because I'm not you know, I'm not aware of it, right? When you have all your fingers, you know where you're at. You know you don't want it like that. I can do that. But if it's, I don't feel this, then I'll I'll use this hand, or I'll use the other fingers. But then this hand, the finger, will hit something. And when I had, when I was, you know, hoiking the the cement mix, this finger hit the edge of the tub, and it bent out this way, like went like that. And I, oh my God! It was brutal. Uh, but of course now, like where that divot is, it's like all black and blue in there. And I had a scab, you know, that, that scab was kind of permanent on there. And then six months still, you know, in there. It knocked that thing off. It was so it was so painful. But I knew that, I mean, I was in the middle of my pour, my mixing, I couldn't stop. I mean, I had my gloves on, so the rubber gloves were real tight. So I knew it was holding it in place. But it just hurt like hell. So I just, man, I had ice water over there. So I just poured ice water on it just to shut it up for a minute. Then just grin and bear, get back to work, work through it. And then uh, after I got done, you know, I cleaned it up real good and put the, put the bandage on it and whatever, kind of protect it. The rest of the day and while I was sleeping and stuff but brutal brutal I think I'm gonna have to tape it to this finger if I tape it to this finger maybe I'll know where it is because it's right next you know it's, it's basically this finger I don't know I think I'm still gonna wind up hitting it. it makes me think of all those people that have similar you know problems they have maybe they had a stroke or whatever and they have like a dead hand Always smacking things into it. Maybe even cutting it and not feeling it. Uh, but, you know, it's got to work on the farm, man. You know, I'm out here doing stuff on this farm. It's not, it's not like, you know, I, look, I watch a lot of YouTube channels about how to fix stuff. I mean, most of the channels I follow are just the guys that are going out and, and touring around, you know, on adventures. And, um... Or chatting and stuff, live chatting it was really cool. But 
when I need some information about something, this or that, I'll go look for the, you know, do-it-yourself kind of channel to see how they did this or how they did that. And I, I was reflecting yesterday when I was looking at my videos, or a couple of the videos. One thing I saw was, dude, I think I'm bald, man. I can't see it in the mirror, but on the video it looks like I'm bald. Man. But, um, I also see in a lot of my videos that, you know, and I think I might have mentioned this earlier in the early videos, that um, I'm always dirty. All these do-it-yourself do videos I watch like that, everybody's always in a nice shirt, and they're cutting saws, or they're doing this, and they're making electrical, they're doing all this stuff, and they got their logo clothes and stuff, and they're all nice clothes and everything. And I'm thinking to myself, how do they, how do they do that? How do they work and stay clean? I, I, just, I can't do that. Most because I'm sweating my ass off out there and I'm always wiping the sweat. Although, again, like I mentioned before, you know, the 50 white t-shirts that I have brought are all stained now. So I'll put a stained shirt on, but they're clean. You just can't really see that on the camera. But, um... I guess it makes me look like I'm working even harder. But yeah, I just continue to uh, to work, and you know, I get about as dirty as I can uh, when I'm getting things done. So I might look like a bum on my videos, but hey, man, that's a farm life. That's some that's some bon off stuff right there, getting her done, and uh, eventually. Eh, I won't have to do so much, but I gotta get some of these things done so that I can, uh, you know, relax a little bit more. Go to places, make my touring videos. Well, what are you guys doing today? Me? This is my first cup of coffee. Oh my gosh. My bones are sore. I can feel it from all that work yesterday. I might have to relax a little bit today. My plants are coming in nicely, if you know what I mean. And uh, my cats, fat. Not only do we probably we feed our cats normal, but then they eat the dog food that's left over for a minute. And then they run around all day eating lizards, and more lizards, and bugs, and just about everything. So they're pretty much non-stop eaters. That's what cats do, I guess, man. So anyway, I started making a video have a little chat see what's up with you guys um, I did mention in my other video that I needed to cut a piece of metal out of the roof brace so that I could build that wall up there and uh, I think it's gonna be alright I was thinking about that last night when I was trying to sleep for some reason. <laughs> but that roof, <clears throat> when, I, when I was I was actually laying down between between um, you know mixing batches of cement and nearly dying from exhaustion, I um, I took that old door that I made and I laid that down on the on the incline. I just laid on the door just. Uh, you know, huffing and puffing, trying to relax for a minute. And it gave me a chance. I was looking directly up in the ceiling. And I can see that, well, the uh, the roof actually probably wasn't put on perfect either. But, and with the settling of the floor, that whole building, you know, I'm looking at it from here. I'm thinking, wait a minute, is the whole building tilted? Anyway, I think uh, what I'm going to do with it is going to make it, you know, 
much more structurally sound and uh, and that'll be that'll be fine but the roof wasn't put on perfect so I can't usually use roof lines you, usually you can look at beams and kind of line yourself up with the beams but can't really do that with this one the beams were just kind of put across and eh, it's not 100% like we say here right on the Banach it's okay it's not 100% but <clears throat> it'll get there I think we're all right I could probably do some, maybe I'll do some measuring today. They do need to want to take some measurements about uh, roof height from one side, you know, against the other side to the foundation. Yeah. Well, that's probably about enough for today. I'll let you guys get back to recreating, hanging out. If you're watching me at work, easy money, baby. <laughs> All right, man. Well, Uncle Craig out. See you later on the next video, and thanks for watching.